Hello. Well, today I'm going to talk about Green Book, um, the recent Best Picture winner and um, recipient of other Academy Awards. Um, <clears throat> I don't have the movie. Um, you know, I haven't bought it yet, <clears throat> even though it came out this week. But I did, um, I did see it in the theater. Uh, <clears throat> A week ago, actually, um, and um, yeah, stars Viggo Mortensen as uh, Frank Velenoga, Mahershala Ali as Don Shirley, Delor, and uh, Linda Cardin Cardellani as Doris Wagner or Vela Rogna. I can't even talk. Basically, if you've seen Scooby-Doo, um, you know, Velma in the movies, uh, that's the actress who plays her. She, you know, you remove that wig or her hairdo she had in that, in those movies, and the, uh, takes her glasses off, she looks quite different. Um, she, uh, she was also in, uh, in the Avenger movie. She was, um, Hawkeye's wife. So, <clears throat> if you've seen those, you know that you. I think you know who she is. She was in the. Yeah. Yeah, she was in those films. Um. Anyway, um. I enjoyed Green Book. You know the story of you know, Viggo Mortensen's character, um, driving, Mahershala Ali's character around uh, as he goes on tour as he's a pianist and in particular mainly is for you know the south and the deep south uh, during in the year of 1962 it's um, it's quite something um, it's a quite amazing story um, it's a true story um, but you know uh, friendship uh, comes from this, and, um, they both died in 2013, <clears throat> but they, um, you know, they, they remain friends, um, yeah, there is tension in the, in the beginning, um, and, um, I don't know, I just love the dynamic between Mortensen and Ali, um, Again, um, it's a newer film, so if I'm not being very, you know, spoiler with you guys uh, <laughs> watching this, uh, that's why, you know, I know many people did see the film after its Academy Award nominations and then wins, but um, there are a good amount of people who just haven't seen it. Um, you know, they haven't bought the film yet, or they haven't been watching it on a streaming service, or having gotten the digital copy, or whatever people do now to see movies. Um, but yeah, the performances were really good. Um, the story is quite interesting. Um, as you know, my best actor pick was, you know, is Christian Bale. That's who I would like to have seen, uh, one, but you know, I, I talked about Bohemian Rhapsody. Uh, I also expressed how I wasn't completely upset with that decision. Um, and seeing Green Book, um, Viggo Mortensen was really good. You know, he was in, he was very good in this film. Um, I don't know, uh, he, you know, I would like to see him win an Oscar once, but. I don't know, it's like it's one of those things every year he's nominated. It's like there's always somebody who would be better, who gave a better performance. Or either who won or who one would like to win. Um, so, there he is. so, yeah, that's that's something to think about. And Ollie winning. Um, I would have liked to have seen Sam Rockwell win. However, if I was to 
nominate somebody for Vice. I would not have nominated him for Supporting Actor. I would have nominated Steve Carell for Best Supporting Actor myself. Um, just because he had more screen time than Rockwell. And he did a great job. Um, regardless of the political, you know, any political bias the film had against the people being portrayed in the film or just the way that they were they were all characterized it, it, was, it was great performances by all in that film um, but yeah I, <clears throat> I, I I think uh yeah Carell deserved a nomination over Rockwell personally um, but Ali winning um, you know, I'm not I, again. I, I'm not upset with this decision. Um, I'm not upset with that. This one best picture. I know that's the biggest thing that people are really, you know, talking about. Um, but I don't know. I don't. Know. I just. I like the film. I have no grievances with this decision. Um, as much as I enjoy Vice, I think the acting is truly the real strength of the film, personally. Where in this film, you know, unlike Vice, you know, where the story of Dick Cheney is quite a mystery since he's such a private person and all you can do is rely on, like, books and what others have said about Dick Cheney and stuff, and you have to make your own story from and incorporate certain key. Uh, moments in his life, you know, through the story or ones one told, whereas here, you know, it's a true story, and uh, if I believe correctly, um, the writer director of the film uh, talked to the real guy, uh, Don Shirley, who first Ali played, and got all this stuff from, him, got all this information from him, and from there wrote the film and won an Oscar for his screenplay uh, and for Best Picture. He was one of the producers, too. Um, it's, it's, it's interesting that um, he wasn't nominated for Best Director. Um, I think that's quite interesting. Um, Not totally sure who, you know, should have won Best Director. Um, again, I haven't. I still haven't seen Roma. I know it's on Netflix, but I just, I don't know. I just haven't. I don't know why. You know, I can't really answer that. But yeah. Um, yeah, the only Oscars it lost was Best Actor in Editing. Um, And, uh, yeah, I even some seen have seen some videos where people say, you know, um, <clears throat> perhaps uh, Mortensen should have been nominated for Supporting Actor and Ali for Best Actor, but I don't know, you see quite a bit of uh, Tony the Lip as uh, Vigo Mortensen's character is called, his nickname. You see quite a bit of his life before Mahershala Ali ever enters the film. And then, so, it's, it's you know, quite fascinating to see the lives and how starkly different they are, you know. Don Sharp, or, yeah, Don, bleh, Don Shirley, I don't know why I said Sharp. It's also late here. A reason to, and I to head, head to bed soon. But anyway, you know, um, Don Shirley, you know, he's had a very good life, and you know, despite the prejudices against him, he was able to 
persevering, have a career of, you know, classical music. You know, doing experimenting with, you know, jazz and uh, with classical influence. And the uh, working class of Tony the Lip and his family, and how, um, <clears throat> you know, and he became a he became a an actor at some point too. Um, Tony Lip did. Um, he was in The Godfather as a wedding guest. Uh, he was in Dog Day Afternoon. He was a cop, Raging Bulls, and Night Clubber. He was in quite the many films. He was in Goodfellas as Frankie the Wop. Um, it's very interesting. Uh, he has a, he had a yeah, he's, it's a very he's a very interesting guy. Um, yeah. Incredible story, um, very, uh, you know, very uh, deserving of best picture, you know. And yeah, you know, Bohemian Rhapsody has quite a, a lot of inconsistencies, and things are done for the purpose of the film. You know, I've talked about some of those instances, like Freddie Mercury getting AIDS at a time when he wasn't diagnosed with AIDS. I mean, perhaps he had AIDS, but, you know, the symptoms weren't as severe at that point um, in time. Or at least not around the time of the Live Aid uh, concert. Um, but, you know, so it's not like that, or like Vice, where people involved you know, very mysterious. You know, they're very public, or private people, and can really only go on the words of what others have said in some books about them, but since it's not really coming from the actual source itself, you don't really know. Whereas in here, in this story, it did, did come from, you know, the source. You know, somebody told the writer, director, the story, and from there, they uh, got to know, got, got to know these, about these people, and wrote, I'm sure notes down and wrote script and then made the movie and uh, it's a fine film um, if you haven't seen Green Book I think it's worth checking out if you have seen Green Book do you like it do you don't like it uh, do you have a problem with it winning best picture who did it beat another film you think should have won or maybe you didn't think it should have been nominated another film should have been nominated in its place Like me, just content and have no problem with it winning. Um, hmm, I don't know. Well, I do know. I just gave my thoughts on the film. Uh, but, but, but you, uh, I don't know. You like it? Do you not like it? You can comment below if you'd like. You don't have to. No one's going to force you. You don't like the video if you like. Don't have to. Um, yeah. So yeah, I will definitely be picking this up at some point. Um, there's a lot of movies I want to get, really. So uh, I've been kind of <laughs> slacking as of late. Plus, you know, this whole uh, daylight savings time that's been going on since this this week. Uh, so I'm having to adjust to that. So yeah. Going to bed soon, but uh, yeah. Hope you all have a fine day. Have a good day. Have a good weekend. Good week. Um, hope that you watch something good. Good movies, shows, what have you. And until next time, I shall see you all later.